Okay. Arriving in this big star. Arriving with the key. The key okay. holding the chip. <coughs> One of the advantages of that is the system will automatically recognize the ribbon that you use. Okay, so if you use a YMCK, a YMCKK, a YMCKI, it will be recognized. Okay, the second thing that is protected means if I'm using when I'm use my system, okay, it's like this. Now I am able to treat. If I am the top manager, and that doesn't want that people will not print, be able to use a printer when I'm not here, I can do something like this. And now nobody is able to print. If I have no key, it's impossible to print. If I have a wrong key, I will trouble the system. Because we we'll see that inside we have some sensor. A uh, sensor can detect some panels. It can count how many panels there is on the ribbon. The problem is that for YMCKI or YMCFK is five panels. So it should be a problem because it counts five panels. But it knows the difference between YMCKI and YMCFK or YMCKH or YMCKK. The, the key is to offer the system to know exactly the ribbons you use. And contains, of course, more information like the classical Everest ribbon information. First, that we are using an Everest ribbon. Second, that we have the zoning. So one rule that you have to remember is the key following the ribbon and the ribbon following the key, always. So when I change the ribbon from a YMCK to a YMCFK, for example, I change the key as well. When the ribbon is end, I replace the ribbon and I replace the key. That most of the time arrive. I mean the system have end of ribbon, people remove the ribbon, but keep the previous key. So we start to print and they say my system doesn't want to print anymore because it said I have end of ribbon, but my ribbon is quite new. It's because they didn't change the key and the key contains the remaining information. So when the key arriving at the end of the count, it says that the ribbon is end. Sometimes there is a possibility of desynchronization. So with the new ribbon, perhaps you can make 20 prints before that the key would say, oh, it's finished. Okay. So remember this rule, the key following the ribbon, the ribbon following the key. If you lost a key, you cannot use anymore the ribbon. If you mix, it will be difficult. Okay, so that is very important. So, so if, for example, if, if I have both a YMCK for a for final ribbon and I accidentally exchange it, it would still work, but the count would be... The count will be yeah. mixed. But it would still work. Yeah, it would so still work until... until, until uh, yeah. uh, what is the problem? Is that, uh, if the key say it's the end and uh, the ribbon is not finished, Okay, all the inverse means yeah. that uh, the system will not be alert because the key say, okay, I have 60% uh, yeah. of remaining ribbon, but at least you print three or four counts and they arrive at the end. So, well, there is some protection. The system can detect if it's uh, the end, so it will not force yeah. to print more, but uh, it's something that is not so good as well. So, it's very important to, yeah. to have that. Because as well, it's the same problem as when you rewind. Okay, you disturb the information and it's not so good. It will work, but it's better to yeah. following the rule, the keys following the ribbon, the ribbon following the key, and you have no issue behind that. Okay? It's like the clear film with the clean roller. Okay? 
It's a simple rule that people have to follow in. Yeah, because we have some issues back there in yeah. the exchange. Oh, for there. sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> they said they, they cannot finish the race. Yeah, yeah. for sure in that. Ah. Okay. The driver. So here is just some screenshot. We will work on the driver. I will show you lots of things. You can see that the driver is absolutely not corresponding to every driver, even if we have the logo, but it's just <coughs> our logo. The main driver is an ISCA driver where there is lots of settings. So I will cover some settings, not all, but some part of the settings. There is on the driver an equivalent of settings from the LCD. I will say equivalent. Okay, and we see that on the LCD, we have a dedicated sequence to go to a dedicated service menu. On the driver, you can do it, okay, but it's protected by your password. So for you, because most of the time you are required, what is the password? I have put it here. It's S E R V. From my point of view, no needs. Absolutely no needs because here you have some settings, okay, to set the system. So it should be interesting, but the problem here, you have no print card test. No testing card to check if when you change the settings, what is the effect of the settings. By the LCD screen, okay, you have the same settings and you have as well the possibility to print the card and to see the real effect of the settings management. So I don't like to use this, I prefer to use the LCD screen. But anyway, in case of, remember that you have the information here. As well, we will see that when we perform some settings uh, on the driver, okay, the driver offers the possibility to define what we call areas. Okay? So areas when you use the YMCKI, but areas for the black panels settings. For example, uh, here the management is a little bit different than our. Okay? In our, we define all black dots or no black dots. Here is defined all black dots, but you can reserve a part of this card where the black dot will not be applied. So for example, for picture can be very useful. Okay? In this case, you have to define the zone. To define the zone, it asks you for left, top, width, and height. At least is to define this point, so top and left and top, so we origin point is always the left top corner is to define this point and as soon as you define this point you can define your square okay it's working like this by default the system work as pixels but you can change the measurement you can change to put millimeters or uh, inch something that you need to remember that is pixels by, by default. So, for example, here, if I define 20 millimeters, 20 millimeters, okay, and if I validate it, if I go back, it will say 19.984. It's because it converts the 20 millimeters as pixels. So it's normal, okay? <clears throat> and remember some things that we take the reference of the card, but it's not really true because we print not on the card, we print on the clear film. And the print of the clear film is over the edge of the card. So the real measurement of the card is one, 1,300 pixels by 2,048 pixels. It's not a really 600, it's a little bit more regarding the CIT because we are over the edge. That as well, it's to explain some, because sometimes some people make the calculate on the card and say, I don't understand, I have put exactly the information that I have calculated on my card, but it doesn't correspond when I print. It's because they forget that we print not on the card, we print on the clear film that is over the edge. So you need to readjust. Okay. All the other, other solutions, if you have to define that, is to use card preso. 
because by Carpresso, if you define <coughs> the print settings as the Avancia, it automatically allows the design, and after, when you make a square, you have the same information in Carpresso. So you can duplicate the information in Carpresso on the driver, and normally, at 100% or near, you will fit correctly your square. Okay? LCD screen. So, very important. You have information, you have menu, set and arrow, and you have a LED. The LED here have fixed LED and blinking. When it's blue, it's correct. Fixed blue or blinking blue, no problem. When it's orange, fixed orange or blinking orange, means that the system has an issue. And you should make some things on the machine itself. Some things, for example, your machine is on, I just open the door and close the door. Here, the system will blink orange. And the system will not be able to print anymore until you say, now I have or close the door. So you need to press set to acknowledge the information. So the system should be accessible by people because there is lots of things that you have to do on the LCD screen. Okay? And when it may examine the system is in a row, the actions they are done need to be acknowledged. Okay? On the LCD mode, there is three different modes. The normal mode, user's mode, maintenance mode, option mode. There is three different modes. Normal, service mode or maintenance mode, option mode, okay, and user's mode. Something to be react, no? Yeah. So generally some people say yes, you have an error on your slide because you say 4 and there is 3. Why? Option, it's not an error. Option, optional, optional is customized. That's why. All are customized. Oh. But why I say 3 modes but I count 4? Optional is not a like... Um, no, optional is an optional. It's linked to the options. It's linked to magnetic contact and contactless options. And for the laminator. But why I said three and there is four? Good question? Yes. You have no the answer? No. Because I have not. So I was asking you why. Okay. No, it's funny. But generally, people don't think about that. Remember the basic things, always. Okay. Why I say three but four? It's because the normal mode is normal mode. Means as soon as you pull on the system, you are in the normal mode. So after, you have three different modes. The users, maintenance, and options. Because the normal, as soon as you pull on the system, you are in the normal mode. It's not a dedicated mode. When you put on the system, normally the system show you ready or show you the error. It's a normal mode. After you have the user's mode to define some settings for users, after you have the maintenance mode for you to perform some dedicated action on the system and dedicated settings, and you have the option mode to set option information. So you have three different modes, but at least four, because one is a default one. Clear? And what you should, if you have some things to remember, it's how you switch from normal mode to user mode, normal mode to maintenance mode, and normal mode to option mode. It's because you may have, if you work on Evancia, the needed to go on the different mode. So, to go to the user's mode, you have just to press the menu. By default, the system shows you an information. If you press menu, 
you are arriving on the user's mode where you can see some information where you can define some information for example if I use a clear film or an hologram clear film it's on the user's mode that I can define that now I use an hologram clear film and some other settings we'll see we'll see we will practice because it's very important now there is a maintenance mode maintenance mode is much more dedicated for you <coughs> okay for example, on the maintenance mode, it's where we have the possibility to adjust the sensor. Don't try to send a command. Don't try SA. SA was for average product. That is not an average product. It will not answer to SA. At least, you have no possibility to send commands. So it's much more simple. Okay? But you have to perform sometimes sensor adjustment, and the sensor adjustment is only by maintenance mode. So maintenance mode is you keep press menu and I'm doing be between at the same time that I'm pressing menu up, down, up, down and after I release. If you have to remember some things, is this one. Menu, up, down, up, down. In Europe, we call that marsupilami, but you don't know marsupilami, so you have a marsupilami. Because it's all uga uga. <laughs> and the latest one, option mode. The option mode will be and should be important for all the options magnetic, contact, contactless, and for the future, the laminator, I think. So in this case, you need to press menu during 5 seconds and after by the arrow you can change from the user's mode to from the normal mode to the option mode option mode we'll see as well uh, we'll see we have not all the details but we we'll see for example on the option mode is where you can define for magnetic if you use ICO or LOCO this option doesn't exist on the driver. It only exists on the menu. Option mode. Yeah. Option mode will be used for the laminator. I'm quite sure at 100%. Because on the option mode, there is the communication mode with the RS232. Uh, or they will define that on the production side. I don't know, but maybe very important. The user's mode is important, for example, for cleaning. Because don't try to find a cleaning button somewhere on the application, on the driver. The cleaning can be performed only through the LCD menu. So that is very important. Cleaning process. I will go fast because cleaning process is easy. Okay, the cleaning process, as I said, is defined by the LCD and only by the LCD. And for the cleaning process, we use a dedicated card. I, have. I always have. The dedicated card that we have is this one. It's an adhesive card. Okay, so there is a plastic protection. Okay, but it's a PVC card. Okay, the goal of the card is to put the cards on the feeder like this, and you will fill the card to clean and eject. To be able to perform this process, you need to cool down because you have to clean the cleaning roller, the not the cleaning roller, the heat roller. So if the heat roller by default it's around 100. 60 degrees, 60, 70 degrees. So if we go, the cars go on 170 degrees, it will be stick on the heat roller. So the heat roller needs to be cooled down until 60, 70 degrees to be able to clean by this car. Okay. This car is for Avancia only. Don't try to clean 
a privacy or is in use with this card. And don't try to this clean the Avancia with this one. I have already test, doesn't work. And I have some customers who have tests because they don't trust me. It doesn't work. Don't try to do it. Okay? So that is for classical average product. That is for the Avancia. Okay? Thank you. Remember that for Avancia, there is no requirement of cleaning regarding the round T. There is no alerts. Okay? So, customer can print 10,000 <coughs> cards without cleaning. I don't know. It will not. For sure, it will have an issue before. Yes. Okay? But it can print a huge amount of cards without cleaning before get in trouble. But when you get to trouble, maybe something to be complicated for women to repair the system. Okay. We recommend to clean every new ribbon or every 1,000 cars. But at least I will say, and you, I will explain you that is not enough, and I will, I will explain it all. The second clean that we have to do, of course, is the print head. And at the beginning of the project, we have decided to clean the print head every 10,000 cards. As well, there is no warning, no system to say, please clean me. Okay? That was, I would say, before. Now, we are seeking to change this information. Okay, because if you perform the cleaning with these cards and of course the swab for the cleaning head, every 1,000 cards or 10,000 cards, okay, I'm quite sure that in a few months of production, you may have some issue and you should have to send back the printer to every man because the printer will not be able to print the same quality as before. Okay. One of the reasons is linked to this card. Okay. This card is just an adhesive card and it's only one side. And we will see that inside here, okay, we have rollers. Okay. And rollers are top and bottom rollers. So it means that I clean only one side of the roller, not both sides. So for this reason, we will do a manual cleaning. You should do a manual cleaning of your system. Have to do. Have to do. Um, maximum 10,000 cards. The second thing that this card, because it's a card, never go down. Because I explained that the cards cannot go on this system. And on this system, we can see, and you will see because you will manipulate, that I have one roller here for the print process. And I have another big roller here for the print process. This have, uh, of course, catch some dust. And when they are dirty, okay, they make lots of trouble of printing process. So you should clean this two roller, of course, manually. And I would say every maximum 10,000 cards. I got in front some printer that now are much more than 200,000 cards print. Okay. <coughs> well, at the beginning of this project with this customer, we get no issue until 60-80,000 cards and um, get something like uh, four or five machines. Machines time by time, machines go down. So we send back the machines to, to our repair center. Um, we have seen that 
the cleaning process was completely disturbed by the fact that these two rollers and the main one, the big one here, was really dirty and at least create lots of issues on the printing process because this one is the one that maintains the pressure here and guide the clear film for the print. Because it was dirty, it was not making the job correctly and get lots of issues during the print. So we have cleaned the system. And when I say we have cleaned the system, I don't remember how many cars we used to clean the system. That's very huge. Now, the system, they are informed about that, and now they clean the system every 10,000 counts, sometimes less, according to their productions. And the printer now have more than 200,000 counts print. Okay, so the manual cleaning is very important. For this reason, we have published on the partner website a dedicated documentation to explain how to clean the system. Of course, with this card, but the manual cleaning, and we will do the manual cleaning. The manual cleaning will be first to clean this one, because these cards have no time to clean this one. So this one, you can use, of course, <coughs> this kind of cards to clean it. The second is these two rollers because as well here the cards is one side here we have two rollers normally it should be cleaned by the sticky roller but it's not enough so do not hesitate to clean very well these two rollers as well okay that is really for the quality of the print then we have all the transportation roller you will see inside that there is lots of transportation roller. For that, you have all the green gear. Green gear make turns the rollers. So you can turn it and clean. Turns and cleans. Okay. And the very important one is this one, the primary transfer roller, what we call as well the nick roller, is this one. The other one is important, the orange one, but this one is very important. You need to have a flat screwdriver and you clean it and it's very important to clean. Okay. If you, you will see that I will we will remove the print head, it will be much more accessible. And with a flat screwdriver you clean it. So you turn, you clean, you turn, you clean and do it along. That Okay, we recommend it every 10,000 counts, maximum. But as well, remember that there is no alerts. Okay? So it's up to you to take care of that. If you have customer using these machines, okay, it should be good to make a maintenance contract with him, and every time you go, okay, you perform a cleaning cycle. When Raymond receives the machines in Avancia, even if the issue, he, he has to do that. He knows perfectly that. And he knows that he has to do because it's very important. Okay? When you have finished the cleaning process, okay, something that is not described on the documentation, but it can, should be interesting to do, it's after to readjust the sensor and after to retest your machine and why not to readjust the, the machine. Means we have some dedicated cars to adjust the different settings and it should be interesting to reprint this kind of cars to be sure that your printer has no need to be readjust. Okay? Question? Where do we find the cut car? Yeah. On the menu, or on the driver. On the driver, you can read the card count. On the menu, there is on the menu there is two card count: a global one, okay, and another count you, where you can reset it. The global you cannot reset. On the menu. And there is another count that you can reset. 
So for example, at each time you perform the cleaning, you can reset it. Also can see ribbon status. Yeah. yeah but the ribbons just don't really give, uh, give you an amount of, but it's not the same. Okay? Clear? Okay. Of course, we will practice. Before going on more, I think it's time for break. Okay? And after, we will finish with this kind of things. 15 minutes after must be fast because some of the guys are going back early. So we have to finish fast. 15 minutes and 15. Okay, okay. What time is it? Go, 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 go.